Let's talk a little bit more about this with this woman, flight attendant and blogger Heather Poole, live in Los Angeles. And Heather, you got your flight, put your flight attendant hat on for me. Uh, you know, if this was your pilot, this was your plane, um, even if it wasn't, what's your reaction? I, I just, I think it's shocking. You know, first I kind of, you have to laugh. It's just so over the top crazy. And thankfully I don't think most pilots feel that way. And then I raged. I mean, I could do a 10 minute rant over his two minute rant. <laughs> and if I took out the curse words, it might be a 45 minute rant. And uh, then I just shook my head because, you know, face it, this guy's like the new Steven Slater. No, I'm glad the focus is on him now. <laughs> now, we, I don't know his name. Is this unnamed pilot. I don't know if within, you know, the, the air, airline community, maybe within Southwest, folks now know exactly who this guy is. But what kind of reaction and reception do you think he's getting now that he's back flying? I, I can't imagine what it's like. It's got to be a horrible work experience for him. I mean, people are going to get on the air. No, who's going to want to work with this guy? And even... Um, we never heard anything from the first officer, and I didn't hear him speak up, which I'm glad. But, uh, I mean, even pilots, I, who's going to feel comfortable working with this guy? Like, what does he normally talk about in the cockpit? That couldn't have been the first time he went on one of those rants. Which, you know what, it's fine, Monday night football with the guys, but don't bring it to work. Don't bring it to work, and it just Gays, happens to be an open mind. Gays, days, and... Uh -uh. I don't even want to repeat some of the stuff, yeah. but, but, you know, you're on these planes, you hear maybe what some of these pilots, and hey, I don't know, maybe flight attendants, I don't know, um, you know, saying some things among yeah. themselves, don't think people are listening. I mean, is this kind of language typical on a plane, or, or is this an anomaly? Oh, it is not typical. I mean, we're not allowed, we have rules that we're not allowed to talk like that, and, and that's what I wonder, like, if this had been a flight attendant in the galley doing this kind of talk, what would that, what would have happened to that flight attendant, and would that flight attendant have her job or his job back already? I, I kind of doubt it. So were you surprised I mean, that he's it's back and thing, flying, Heather? <clears throat> I'm shocked, I really am. Um, I mean, I just, somebody with that, who feels comfortable enough to take that to work, um, and, and, not, and only, not only that, but I mean, he was so angry about the way he felt. He was so angry about not being able to hook up with the flight attendant at work that he didn't even hear the aircraft traffic controllers telling him that they could hear what he was saying and he needed to turn it off. And neither did the first officer, because I didn't hear him saying, hey, uh, we need to check this. No, nope. he was on such a roll, he, what, couldn't, he wasn't even thinking about what he was doing. Yeah, good thing that first I mean, officer kept yeah. his mouth Close, and you could even hear some of the air, people, air traffic control, saying, "Wow, this is kind of why you know pilots get a bad reputation." And uh, sir, that's an open mic. So uh, we'll have to see what the reception is like. Heather Poole, whew, what a story! Um, thank you so much for coming on. I appreciate it, flight attendant Heather Poole. And uh, hard to believe.